Hello, you guys. Bo here. Uh, so the question was asked: How did I do my cabinet? How did I do my shower? Okay, so this short episode, I'm gonna do two different uh, videos. One is how did I do my cabinet, and another one will be uh, the about the shower. Okay, so in the past. All the vans that I built, I made the cabinets out of wood, all wood frames and everything. Uh, until I found out that it is much easier uh, using the aluminum extrusion to build a cabinet frame. Uh, less to me, it's less work for me. I get accurate angle. 99% of the time I get the right angle so on the wood cabinet uh, wood framing I don't get it all the time I uh, if you have real you know special tool good tools uh, you can do it easier with the wood okay so let me explain to you about this one since I have it here so to start with, first along the wall here, the sprinter van, I'm talking about sprinter van. Along the wall here, right above where the the uh, window cutouts, you have existing uh, holes, the pre-drill holes from the, the factory. So I'm using those holes, uh, but I, I just need to enlarge them a little bit to fit my uh, 6M um, rivet nut. So let me get the camera over here, take a closer look how I did that. And that's the first step. First I'm using uh, a half by one. Okay, this is here to here is one inch and the thickness is half. And it has the uh, the extrusion, the channel. This is the just the uh, one slot all right and then I uh, where were the ex existing holes I pre-drill them and then you can see my mark here I mark where those holes are so I can um, drill this and drill the counter sink so I can use those holes once I have that all drilled and screwed onto the the wall and the screws make sure you don't like super tighten the screws yet yeah you, know, you keep it loose a little bit so so that it's it's still a little bit flex uh, when you uh, try to make the right angle because the van's wall is not straight up it's kind of uh, it's it's curved okay Number two is when you plan to build your cabinet or before you, you um, uh, install your ceiling, what kind of work, whatever ceiling kind you have, plan on where or how are you going to attach the top frame of your cabinet. Okay, so if you're going to attach that to the, the wood of your cabinet, make sure where would you are going to attach is the strongest point so you want to reinforce the screws on the uh, wood on that part or you can leave uh, you know uh, some kind of hole for the future for for you to um, uh, attach the uh, top frame onto okay that that's most important because uh, the, the top uh, framing once you know one measurement, you can cut all of them at once, all right? That, and then you start assembling it, okay? You will attach the front here and attach this and that. So you have an L, okay? And you bring it over, you attach the back and you attach the top to it. Okay, now you get yourself 
a, a frame okay then you make adjustments there to make sure you get the perfect angle and then just measure all what do I use to attach my um, aluminum extrusions okay so these are the the 10 series meaning it's it's one inch okay uh, all right let's take a look at these um, angle braces that I, I use to attach all right this is this is it the uh, aluminum extrusion angle brace okay, 90 degrees angle brace I use that throughout okay all of that so I attach that and make all my frames first all right by now you should have your frame up just empty frame up and uh, now you can start cutting the woods okay first I work on the, the sides okay I used uh, I have some plastic from uh, recycle uh, just a flat plastic sheet you can use uh, cardboard okay, which is perfect to use trace out your ankle make the uh, the, the mold out of cardboard and then you transfer that onto wood you cut your wood okay once you have one side the other side uh, most likely it's a, it's a, almost 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 the, the same okay so once you have that both of them and then what do I use to attach the the size or the the bottoms or whatever to to the these frames the aluminum frames um i found out that this angle works perfect for me i used hundreds of them throughout the van and it's clean it's stainless steel it fits uh it works on a from aluminum to wood or aluminum to al aluminum for the uh, one inch one inch frame uh, aluminum extrusion here um, the, yeah though the small smaller size and there are the two inch I think it's two yeah two inches size I, I will show you in a minute of that and and it's, it's very useful I use all of them throughout the the bill not just the cabinet okay so that's right there these angles okay these stainless steel angles I used to attach the sides and as also for the the bottoms okay so this this slot here it's exactly the same uh, size as the uh, extrusion I'm using the that uh, uh, hex uh, not on that one side uh, one side and then this side we attach to the board to the wood is a half inch okay half inch uh, Philip it's a self uh, driven screw Let's take a look at that. Here we go. That kind. Okay. Home Depot. Okay, since I'm using a half inch on my uh, on the the bottom, the size, and this half inch uh, works perfect for me. All right, now the hinges. Oh, these looks good okay so these hinges um, uh, I I talked about it on the other video these are slow close hinges okay and I explained it if you check out on my other uh, build series video I talked about about it okay again I'm using the same uh, nuts here that uh, I used throughout 
throughout uh, the channels um, and I explained to you on the other video also how I I uh, drill these holes okay now let's talk about the uh, uh, door supports there's so many different kinds you find out there and I chose this kind okay I choose that because of that see how perfect it looks two screws okay straight and then screw right into the channel okay and this is adjustable tension Okay, and then right there, support the top, and it holds up to 40 pounds, which more than I needed. Th these doors are only uh, not even five pounds. So just need to adjust that. Okay, it holds up, and it's also slow close. Um, somebody also asked uh, uh, what kind of uh, material or uh, wood do I use for my cabinet uh, faces these are the um, uh, what are called the shelf um, there are the shelving 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 shelvings for um, from Home Depot they have uh, different kinds of uh, different types, different colors. I just uh, like this color, and this is uh, laminated wood. And it looks really nice. Okay, this is the other kind of uh, angle brace that I use. That that is very popular. On my bill here, stainless steel, two inch. Okay, this is right here. This is two inches this way, one inch, and one inch. So it's yeah, it's just two inches. So that fits perfect, like this. Okay, even on the uh, um. Aluminum extrusions, it works well on the, on the one inch. And the other one is this right here. It's stainless steel. They come wrapped. You just peel that off and then you get a beautiful stainless steel finish on the inside. Okay, that is used throughout the van for example you can see here this one i attached to the aluminum and then attached to the wall and this one is going to be my outside and then on the bottom you can see i attach my aluminum to the floor okay now you can build your own cabinet even more beautiful i hope this is helpful and i will list all the materials regarding whatever i use for the cabinets here on the links below if you want to build the same okay for the one inch aluminum uh, you can get these from amazon or to be honest, it's cheaper to get it in uh, bulk quantities. Uh, you can get it off uh, some other website, which I can also link it for your for suggestions if you want to buy from those. Uh, that's where I bought them because it's very expensive to buy piece by piece. You can save some money by uh, buying in multiple uh, pieces if you. Uh, plan to use a lot of them okay
thank you very much and i will see you on the other episode on about the shower <laughs>